Shalom. Hello, everybody. This is Apostle Bernard Bolton, a creativity mentor and breakthrough coach. And uh, today I'm I'm doing a, a video. For the last couple of weeks, I've been doing written reviews of what the Lord has been saying in the year 5777. Apostle Chuck Pierce of Glory of Zion, he actually gave this this challenge to the body of Christ. And so, um, you know, I often hear God, I hear the instructions of God through what Apostle Chuck says. And so I started reviewing uh, key things that I believe the Lord was saying throughout this year. And so I'm communicating that to you. And, but instead of writing it this week, I wanted to come on and make a video, okay? So we've already looked at the year 5777 being the year of the watchman. We also looked at 577, 5777 being the year of the sword. So today I want to talk about how, uh, I want to talk about the number 777 what it means and what what i believe the lord has been saying to the body of christ this year out of this number now we know that the number seven is is it means ending it's a number of endings and in genesis chapter 2 verse 2 it says and on the seventh day god ended his work which he had done and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he rested from all his work which God had created and made. And so uh, seven is, is, is represent, prophetically represents endings. Uh, it also it represents the end of a cycle. It also represents the end of a week. Um, seven, okay, so... One of the things I believe that the Lord is saying through this year, God has been ending, God has been ending uh, some things in our lives, relationships, um, uh, connections, alignments. Uh, he's been ending, uh, for a lot of you, you've had lack to end, you've had uh, sickness to end. Praise God. And so it's been a year of endings. Now, there's a difference between when God ends something and God permits something to end by trauma or by catastrophe. <clears throat> I had um, I had three uh, major endings in my life this year. And that's uh, and, and the significant thing about that is that uh, throughout this year. I've been, I had been seeing the number 777 almost every day, sometimes two to three times a day. I've seen the number 777. Now, please don't ask me, you know, what's the meaning of numbers. I've had people to do that. I don't interpret numbers. I really believe you have to discover with the Lord what does a specific number mean to you. Okay. Uh, we do know there's a, there's general prophetic meanings for certain numbers, but uh, but if you're seeing a lot of numbers, you you got to really kind of figure that out on your own. But I've been seeing the number 777. So I knew that the Lord was saying that there would be some endings in my life. The three major endings, which is which is, you know, because I saw the number seven three times. The three major endings that I have seen uh None of them were, were God endings, or none of them were the endings that God initiated, but they were permitted by God because God is sovereign over my life and he's Lord. And so there are some things that God will permit to happen that's not his hand. Remember the story of Job. Uh, God gave Satan permission to come against Job. It wasn't God, but God gave him permission. Uh, the devil could not have touched Job unless God had permitted it. So there are some things that God will permit in your life. Those three major endings in my life, they were all traumatic, and but God permitted it. But there are times, and I believe that this is key to what's been happening in a lot of your life, there were times when God was ending things. Now, how do we know when God ends things? Well, let, let me share with you. 
when God brings an ending in your life, like when I was 49 years old, when I had 49, that was the seventh cycle of seven in my life. When I was seven years old, that was the first cycle of seven. My father died. When I was 49 years old, God called me out of church and a denomination and all of that. Y'all excuse my phone, please. I mean, everybody trying to get me today, okay? God called me out of a denomination, uh, called me out of a way of life, and sent me into the area where I am today, okay? So when God brings an ending in your life, now at the age of 50, I've had some more endings, but I'm, but again, I'm not saying that any of that was God endings. Okay. When God brings an ending in your life, number one, God will give you grace to walk away from what he is ending. He will give you grace. He will give you, uh, the ability, the power and the courage to walk away. All of that is grace. Okay. Uh, then when you walk away from what God is calling you to walk away from, then God promotes you. When, when, when Abraham finally got God, when God told Abraham to leave, he said, leave your country, your family, and your father's house. When Abraham finally left his father's house in Genesis 14, then God opened his eyes and showed him what he was going to give him. That's promotion. Uh, one of the key things that happen when God gives you promotion is he opens your eye, your vision become clear because suddenly you have ascended into a new place. Okay. So, uh, when, when Abraham and Lot separated, that was the, that was the completion of the ending that God had ordained in his life some years earlier. And then God says, I'm going to give you this I'm going to give it to your descendants. It will be yours forever. And then God told him to start walking in it, which was really a promotion of ownership. God says, now you can walk in this because you have, you have come through the endings. All right. Now, uh, endings are not about, please understand this. Endings are not about the past. Endings are always about the future. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10, God says, I declare the end from the beginning. Why does God say that? God always starts in the end, not the beginning, because God is always operating in your future. So endings are not about the past. It's not always about, you know, bad things happening. A lot of things that God has ended in your life wasn't, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't traumatic. There were some endings that had to come to an end. There were some things that had to come to an end because God has a greater future for you. And there's a glory on your future that you've got to embrace and you got to say yes to and you got to walk into, all right? <clears throat> so, so this year, many of you have experienced endings. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be encouraged because the ending is more about your future. It's about what is ahead. It's about what is in your tomorrow and what God is positioning you for to create because most of your future, although God has slain it, the majority of your future, I will say even 95% of your future is determined by your decisions today. So God is calling you into the future. So this year, 5777, it, it's, it's been about endings. And even though I saw the number seven, seven today, and I'll either see the, the, the number seven three times or twice, I believe that means that before this Hebrew year is over, there's going to be some more endings in my life. Okay. Uh, hopefully they won't be traumatic. Hopefully. And I'm, I'm really believing God. I'm believing God for a God ending, not, not something that he permits, but something that he has designed because he sees my future. So I have this great expectation and anticipation that uh, that I'm going to walk into the future, the prophetic words that have been declared over my life. I'm going to walk into them and experience them in the next month before we come to 5778. All right. God bless you. Uh, I, I pray that this has been encouragement with you. Please uh, write, please uh, uh, comment, share, and uh, share this message. All right. I'm out. Take care.